ships, planes, trucks and trains. Every year they are used to take more than 20 million consignments of radioactive material to destinations all over the world. Places where it is urgently needed. For generating power, for diagnostic and therapeutic uses in medicine, in industry, research, manufacturing, agriculture, minerals exploration and in and around our homes. Radioactive material makes our lives easier, better, safer and healthier. The movement of radioactive material has an excellent safety record. That's because of the care taken by those sending the packages, the carriers delivering them, the package recipients and the stringent regulation provided both at the global level by the International Atomic Energy Agency and nationally by member states. This is one of a series of short films produced by the IAEA about the essential aspects of the safe transport of radioactive material. It's about the safety record. Safety is number one, number two, and number three, and it always will be. Radioactive material is classed by the United Nations as dangerous goods, a category also known as hazardous material, or hazmat. It's dangerous because it emits ionizing radiation. When it's being transported, it is essential that cargo handlers, the public, property, and the environment are protected from the danger it poses. It's for this reason that its movement is regulated by law. Labeling, appropriate packaging, monitoring and training all play their part in keeping transport safe. This culture of safety reflects the IAEA's basic requirements, standards and guidelines on the safe transport of radioactive material. The success of this safety regime established now for more than 50 years, is shown by the safety record. Radioactive material of all sorts is transported all over the world by land, sea and air, 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year. The safety record for transport of radioactive material is excellent. There are approximately 20 million shipments a year going by all modes, by sea, by air, by road. All of these are tightly regulated. And in the history of transport of radioactive materials, there has never been a death or an injury associated with the contents of radioactive material transport package escaping. This is all the more remarkable given the huge numbers of packages of radioactive material being moved. There are over 20 million shipments, 20 million shipments every year. Not many people realize that. That's a worldwide dispatch rate of two packages of radioactive materials every three seconds. Although the vast majority of packages dispatched are only mildly or moderately radioactive, since 1971 more than 20,000 shipments of used fuel and high-level wastes have been safely transported over millions of kilometres. Of course, this doesn't mean that there have been no accidents involving the transport of radioactive material. There have, although over the years there have been remarkably few. It does mean that the international and national regulatory regime anticipates them. We can't prevent accidents. You can't write a regulation that prevents accidents. Our approach is, if accidents happen, we will reduce the effects to acceptable levels. The, the effect on people in that particular location, the effect on the environment, is controlled. And that's the whole purpose of the transport regulations. This unblemished safety record is something that the IAEA is determined to help member states maintain. To ensure the continuity of these uh, safety records of uh, transport of radioactive material, uh, we need to maintain people trained people informed and people educated on the risks of transporting radioactive material. To find out more about the safe transport of radioactive material, visit our website at goto.iaea.org forward slash transport safety. 
It's also worth looking at the nine companion films in this series. Together, they're a great introduction to the hows, whys and wherefores of the transport of these vital goods. Thank you.